Welcome to Spinning Planets E107 video tutorials. In this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up goal conversions on an E107 website. We do this for our calls to action that we have on our front pages and you can see that we've got some set up already here. So there's the call to action buttons and here's the pages and what we're going to be doing is creating a goal conversion for these buttons here to go through to contact the website. So what we need to do is first thing we need to go and make sure that each page has a unique URL and the buttons need to have a unique URL as well so I'm going to quickly go and make sure that they do. So you can click on edit and edit the link and you can see that this already has a unique URL called C2A1 as well as that button there as well. Now you'll see that you'll know this notice that um, those URLs that I've created aren't to particular like real pages, the friendly URL um, links. So if we've just created a new friendly URL we need to go to the plugins and we need to go to SP Fool and add in our friendly URL you'll see that we've got C2A underscore one that goes to contact.php and you can add new ones further down once you've added a new one you click on update.htaccess and that updates the .htaccess file just make sure that your path names are correct and you don't have any modifiers there and you can see what the modifiers are on the right hand side um, that will break because that will break the .htaccess file and you won't be able to see the website read through the notes on um, how to repair this if it does happen okay and the next thing we need to do is we need to set up this website in Google Analytics to start registering information and this one's already been set up um, I'm going to just quickly set up a new one to show you how to set up a new profile for a website and you can do this at the bottom going add website profile and then you type in the URL so I might just put in a dummy one and click finish okay and the information we want to grab is the web property ID we need to copy this so that we can put it on our website and we go back to the website and we need to go to plugins and SP Google Analytics if it's not plugged in we need to go to the plugin manager and install it so we click on that and you'll see that there's a code already in there if there wasn't a code in there we'd paste the one that we just grabbed from from here but there is already a site set up so we're going to leave that alone and we're going to go back to the settings and we're going to go to the previously set up one so we can find that by scrolling to the bottom and go and find profile and then typing in the URL okay so if we click edit we will be able to see goals that have previously been set up and also the main profile information you'll see that there's one already been set up join Metal 2 business community and if we leave the admin we'll be able to see that that's that top one there so I'll quickly go through the process of adding the second one and we'll go partner with Metal 2 chamber we need to edit this page to make sure that they have unique names click edit you see that there is C2A underscore 2 and 
check this one here, and this one says C2A underscore 2. Update, and we update the page. Then we go to the ASP field to make sure that they are have a friendly URL, which they do. And that goes to contact as well. Make sure the HDX is, is updated. Okay, so now that we've got the path names sorted, we need to go back to Google Analytics and we need to add the goal. Okay, so the goal name is usually the page and we're going to partner with Manawatu 2 Chamber so we copy that okay and that's an active goal the goal position is set one goal two because we've already got goal one and we want it to, to be a URL destination now there's three different types of goal, to, uh, goal conversions and the one we're setting up is a URL destination that just means um, that it's going to complete a goal once it's reached a certain URL so we're going to fill in these details here to say which URL it is going to be and we know it's going to be a particular URL and it's going to be this one here. Once you've filled in this form it's going to uh, place a question mark thank you at the end of that unique URL that you created earlier. So we're going to copy that and we're going to place it inside that goal URL. So that's the completion of the goal conversion and we don't have to worry about the URL being case sensitive because we've popped it in there. Um, there's a goal value and basically that's just an indication how much the website's bringing in. Um, it's only only an indication, it's not a, a true value. Okay, and now we want to create a goal funnel for, for this goal conversion. And how we do that is we click on add funnel and we need to go through the process of how a person would get to that step. So the first place that they would land is the home page. So we go home and give it a name. And these need to be a, a reasonably understandable name so that when they're looking at the report they know what it was. Um, so the next step was is if they click on partner with Manitou Chamber they'll come to this friendly URL page and we need to add that to step two and that's the landing page okay and the next step after that would be clicking through the button and coming to the contact page And of course, once they've filled out that form and submitted it, it's a goal conversion. So the goal URL would of course be C28 underscore 2. Thank you, because they've filled in the form. Now we save the goal. And we've added goal number 2 to the analytics so that um, it can start registering information and you can see this by clicking on view reports and goals and you'll now that see that there's two goal conversions there's one last thing that you need to do to set up the analytics for um, the goals and that's email so we need to click on that email icon and schedule and then to an email so info at website.co.nz and the subject is provided by Spinning Planet and that's just a default one that we like to use so try and leave it the same formats PDF the schedule is monthly and include date comparison and then we click schedule and that's how to set up 
goal conversions for Google Analytics on your E107 website.